Tonight we pay tribute to Atlanta's very own gospel singer, Duranis Pace, who passed away at the age of 62. Over the years, 11 Alive profiled her powerful gift as a singer and how she touched the lives of people really all over the world, Jennifer. Sure, she was a proud member of the legendary gospel group, the Anointed Pace Sisters, alongside her siblings. And tonight in a story that you will only see her on 11 Alive, her family spoke with our Naima Abdullahi on how they want her to be remembered. I wish I had a little more time with you. The concept of time didn't matter if you had the honor of meeting Duranis Pace. Whether you knew my mom 30 years or 30 minutes, you know you felt the love of God through her. Her son, Demarcus Love, says he's thankful for the time he had with his mother. The love mom gave, she gave to everyone. Love is and will forever be her legacy. Singing was was my medicine. At 62 years old, her time here well spent as her gift and her voice continues to touch lives. I'll always be <laughs> From the viral moments that gave people hope to the big stage that energized her spirit. God now kept me alive to see you, sir. And I'm just glad to be here. <laughs> Your gift will make room for you. There were times when we did not have funds growing up and my mother, all she had was her voice. My mother's voice was her currency. Her family shared her with the world, but to them she was a loving mother, a daughter and a sister. Her sister Lydia Pace says she was a woman who never stopped praying. Where did her humbleness come from? She just had a very humbling spirit about her. It comes from spending time in prayer because it is in prayer. Prayer is the workshop of God. Over the years, 11 Alive covered the gift of Duranis Pace and her family's legacy. When her late mother, Betty Ann Pace, received a home from Tyler Perry, we saw the power of prayer. Duranis loved her family. She touched my life too. I know she did. And I'm, I'm grateful. Y'all gave my mother her flowers while she was living. That's who I want to be. Job well done, and now she'll fulfill her lifelong dream of performing on Broadway on the biggest stage of her life. Once he extends his hands, I will fulfill his plan. Wow, what a voice. Well, the family is sharing that her death was not related to COVID, but due to other health complications. And once they have funeral arrangements made, they will share them with us. I'll never forget the first time I heard her voice and her voice is part of that magnetic energy. Yeah. You know, she just had a way of making anyone who listened to her or who were lucky to hear her in a restaurant just feel like they were the most important person in the room, I think. So powerful in that personality to go right along with it mm -hmm. will certainly be fondly remembered. Yeah.